evening. It's Sunday. It's Thursday of Gen Con. Monday. Monday of Gen Con. After Gen Con. But I get to hold the walkie. Look how cool I look right now. We are going down to Guterstein game time. And we have, what have we done? Oh, I spent like two hours editing Saturday's video yesterday. And then again, two hours this morning. And it's a beefy boy. I have like one and a half, two hours of footage that I'm trying to condense down into like 30 to 45 minutes. And it has taken me way longer than I expected. So apologize for the delay, but everything's okay. Cause Suwad is here. Hi. And I have a walkie, so we're safe. Cool. And so we'll never leave. You're getting a phone call. Chow to get some takeout like breakfast stuff yeah it's Monday before Gen Con and um, I'm tired I'm exhausted I'm still friendshiping I'm gonna friendship as long as I can let's go grab Pata Chow breakfast lots of people are heading home lots of people are probably back at work today already and uh, I don't know, it feels like a dream. It feels like a dream that we're all waking up from every year. We go to sleep, Gen Con happens, and it's beautiful, and then we all wake up and go back to real life. How are you managing getting back to normal life? How's that transition for you? Is it easy? Um, is it hard? Are you sad? Does it make much of a difference? What do you do to make things easier for that transition? For me, it's always been staying a couple of extra days and um, that really helps. And then once I get home, I do find the transition back to real life is a little harder. Why are you leaving? <laughs> because I have to go home. Why do you hate me? Um, well, it's a deep-seated uh, hate that started several years ago. And it was all just because uh, you stopped eating trashy 7-Eleven pizza. Wow. They all agree with you. Wow, it was really rude. Like, you're trying to do a sentimental video. <laughs> Look at this. Nelly's trying to do a sentimental video. And some people, they're having fun. Wow. What's your favorite part of Gen Con? Your favorite moments? My favorite moments? Uh, actually not working it because I normally work a lot of conventions so I didn't get to, didn't have to work it. <laughs> okay, now stay. Uh, cool. I'll get work on it. <laughs> well, we know there's no pair there. Yeah. That's the other piece three, of information. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you had eight, I have 13. I have 18. I'll take it. Well, given the hell my oh. last hand went. <laughs> uh, what? This. No, you got the you have you 20. 20. 20. 20. You don't complain. <laughs> don't <laughs> complain. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'll be in my 20s. Did you see how bad the cards were in the last hand? Oh, Rob, do, do you see the, how bad the cards are at this hand? Uh -huh. Okay. I uh -huh. feel What? You can't be negative. It's already. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. I, can't wait. Right. So I have M and O as possible yeah. negatives. Uh, and it has to be one of them. Yeah, because we're using all the other ones. So what's the out of 10 on bacon? Uh, I would give that a 7. <laughs> okay. It's a very good chocolate. What would you like to select? Okay, 7 out of 10? 8? Peanut butter and jelly soda. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Nice. 3, 2, 1, move up. 
Anybody who's sipping, I'm going to warn you, it's a bad plan. Don't, don't sip these. No, you have to sip them. Oh, so this, I like this one. I like Hard this one. Pickle! Right. Oh. Based on other things I have had. All right, everybody. Three, two, one. Bottoms up. It's a lie. I mean, it is. <laughs> They're all. Oh, that was way too sweet. Yeah. That's a Out four. Out of ten? That's a four. four. I have to say, I'm really surprised that we have a more divisive it's, crowd this it's, year than usual. It's not terrible. Yeah. Yeah. What would you like next? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Oh. Hey, I will take it. Oh, God. Yes, mustard is perfect. If you want, bottom it up. I don't know if I should. Okay, whatever. You see? Better than it. Let me try it. This is actually. What you're thinking of this? That's bad. It's good. It's like egg salad. She's like the most. Oh, okay, she's so loving it. Very easily too for me. That's Was right. that your favorite so far? <laughs> Every time we've tried to mix so, things, it's only made them worse. <laughs> <laughs> that has Thank you. I can't. Three, oh. hour, two, oh. one. Bottoms up. I'm not gonna, uh, this is disgusting. I'm going to sip it. No, sipping makes no, it that's worse. worse. Just drink it. No, no I'm, I'm doing this on purpose. No. Is, oh, and the smell is way yeah. worse than the actual taste. Yep. It's actually not that bad. Yeah. This is like behind you lift the fridge. Maybe three to two. Really over the mustard? Really? No, that's her. Butter, oh, butter voted down. I'm going to say child, five, child five. committee. <laughs> yep. I think the, the child is our judge. Yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, <laughs> next choice. Everyone else is just here. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, oh, no. Okay. Now the child. The child officially hates all of you. <laughs> that bottle is disgusting. Is like that red? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I gotta get it on this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, everybody. Three, two, one. <laughs> Bottoms up. I'm gonna sip it. Let's see. That was my favorite. That's you. Right. Yourself, that's right. you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's, yeah. that's a bit like Boba. Did it, did, how's it taste? Why would you? You like sugar? Like so like so, like so oh. I'm like, 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 Oh, is that that big game with maple syrup? No. Oh, yeah. No. It's the opposite. The maple syrup is still here. Yeah, I have to carry them. Oh, it's got an appetite. All right. Sweet <laughs> corn soda. Beautiful. Three, two, one. Bobby. You have to shave for the bottle of salad with you. Well, even the wood side is more than the wood side. Uh, All right, we have, a, we have a vote on the, for the, the child representative. It's not like the least favorite. Eight. I drink all bottles. It smells fabulous. It does not taste that way. Yeah. Yeah. It's a remarkably inoffensive cucumber soda. Yes. Okay. It's not good, but it this should is, be a palate cleanser. This is the LaCroix okay, of gross soda. All I want. <laughs> Two, one, bottoms up. It's, it's Would not, you like to be dealt in? Uh, no, I don't want to take off the mask. Like, it. It's not bad, actually. actually. Yeah, okay. Bacon soda with maple syrup. Oh, I do want to see that. Thank you. Like salty maple syrup? Okay. Oh. Two, one, bottoms up. <laughs> no? It tastes like worse Dr. Pepper. Yeah. yeah. This is basically someone got like cheap fake syrup make maple syrup and salt. Syrup. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not a doctor, but I'm bacon. That was the hit one. There we go. Winner. What was that one? That was bacon with maple syrup. Oh, oh God. <laughs> bacon? No. After that reaction. <laughs> basic chicken oh, you're in for enchilada now? Oh yeah, sure, why not? I mean, if you can... Yeah. <laughs> well, if Desmond can... Uh... You can make poor choices, you can too. That's right, that's what we're all about. All right, enchilada. Enchilada. Three, two, one, bottoms up. Do it! Bottoms up! That's not as a pizza as I No, that's not nearly as bad as I used to It's like orange chesta. It's really not that bad. If I didn't know it was in pizza pizza, I would... It's not nearly as bad as I used Okay. All right, I took a bunch. So one and only that might get posted online. Good luck. Yeah, I, like I have four. <laughs> I just want to make sure I was spelling right here. Actually, I don't just like the I want to add a new one. Alright, this is our final choice. Toxic waste. 3, 2, 1. Bottoms up. We can make this.
Can the committee come to a consensus on the ranking of the Thank you. Yes. Was there a worse or a best? Worse. Worse. Feel free to move more out. What happened? Really? Uh, bottom, 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 bottom. And I was searching for uh, I don't think we can come to a consensus, but how many consensus I don't feel need to do so. I think we can probably come to a consensus on things that most people thought were awful. Yeah. Well, this was one of the better ones. The cucumber was reasonable. The pickle was reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. Even as sweet as it was. It was, it was, it was a few more people that like it. I'd say the bacon soaked in chocolate is better than the one that you made with beer. Well, it's roughly in that area. I'm not getting a bigger one. I'm not getting a bigger one. I'm not getting a bigger one. What about the buffalo wing? Where does that go? This is about where I've been put in the past. Yeah. Okay, can we put them in, in an actual timeline? But otherwise. Okay, so our winner this year did bacon? Both the bacons won? But they don't taste like bacon. They taste like chocolate and they taste like bacon. I just remember they taste Okay, well, so I'm allowed to batteries right. that can be fired in self combustion. I was going more like, like what would happen if yeah, you put I mean, it in a fire? Yeah, you could burn plastic, you could burn plastic that doesn't light a fire. I got you. Great. What do you like about them? Watch. They're for work? <laughs> do it again, do it again. <laughs> you know the way I've been crying already a lot about Gen Con and all my friends leaving and Gen Con being over. Yeah. It wasn't this, like people, it just didn't feel like it was, you know? Was what? Over. Yeah, well. I mean, I've been crying a lot already, but it didn't feel kind of like as hard as normal. Sure. But I think I just realized right now. Uh -huh. I just realized, I think I just realized that it's over. Mm -hmm. Everyone's gone. But we'll see them next year. And we'll see them before then, too. Oh, that's a lie. No. You're so cute. I don't want to go. Yeah, you do. You want to get Robin. Ramen sucks. Although I have a thought, baby. Okay. I was wondering if you should ask your viewers if you, if they, uh, would rather see us go to their usual, our usual places every year and check that out, uh, or if we should go and try new things so they can explore new parts of Indianapolis. So they should tell you. They should tell me. I had a really cool viewer. Oh no, I forgot their name, but they're in Sunday's video, I think. And which you know totally has not been posted because it's not edited, but they were really cool and they say they don't live far away from here. And they said that their husband or partner owns a bar, an Irish bar, I think it was called the Snug, not far from here. And just down the street from that is either like a tiki bar or maybe it was a Japanese restaurant, I don't know, but they said it was really good, so they recommended we go there sometime. I think the only problem was that the snug was closed on Sundays and Mondays or something. So the timing is bad, but maybe we can go there next year ahead of Gen Con. What does it feel like to plan an event for 300?
260 days and then you only have four days to actually make the event happen mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden it's over how does that feel uh, it feels very surreal like it's not possible because uh, it doesn't feel like it can be over already uh, like there has to be more there has to be something else what's um what's next what happens now so the show ends yep. there's obviously pack out yep. and then we go home we take a few days to recuperate uh, before too long, the pallets will arrive back to the office and we'll start ticket recon on all the paper tickets that we still have. But we try to get through as many as we can during the show. So the ticket recon will go through like early or mid-September. Uh, and during that time, we're dealing with complaints and issues that came up during the show, following up with people, especially this year, because I didn't have time to talk to everybody like I normally do. Um, and then we will uh, kind of start following up and talking about what we'll do next year and figuring out what we can improve and all that kind of stuff and that process is kind of continuing as we start making concrete plans and then in January, February I think is really when we start really actively accepting submissions from folks and like what their plans are and that kind so of stuff. So when do you start planning 2025? I know on a broad scale that like started, but yeah. um, but like when does it like become real? Like now, now we're now we're doing twenty twenty five shit. Probably like October, November is when it starts to get a little more concrete. And what does that start with? Is it just early event submissions? Is it discussion? Uh, I would say budgets, space allocation, and sponsorship contract negotiations. Like major sponsorships kind of get decided around them, like what companies get rooms, um, where those rooms are, how big they are, those kinds of things uh, have to get decided pretty early. How would you, you can answer this how you want, but how would you rate this Gen Con? How did, how did your Gen Con this year go compared to us? Well, this year I think for me, it like kind of has two ratings. One. It seems like it went very, very well for almost all attendees and event organizers and stuff like that. Um, you know, there are issues every year, obviously, but it seems like everybody had a really fun time. Everything went very, very well. Um, so that's very exciting. But I think so many people on my team were indisposed, not feeling well, that it ended up just being me and my department who could physically be on site, and everybody else had to kind of work from their hotel room. And that was, thank you. That was just really hard for everybody who couldn't be here and see the, the, their work, basically. I think that y'all did an amazing job, and I would like the I would like us to tell you you did great. Good job, Gen Con, for a really great Gen Con. I think thank a you. lot of people had an amazing time. I think they did. And it's really hard work, and we all appreciate it. Derek, you are doing a great job. Thank you. Love you. Love you too. So ramen was good. We had a chill, relaxed, tired ramen dinner. And now we are back here. We played um, the New York Times games from the app while we had dinner just to get some last minute more gaming in right Derek? Yep. We did Wordle and Connections and Strands I think is the last one. So it was a lot of fun. That was cute. And we d we won all of them. And then we are now going to see the Deadpool Wolverine movie at the mall. And I really like the mall here because it has a little foot thing that slides out and reclines. So I'm excited for that. <laughs>
pack full of lots of references of, uh, uh, you know, what's well, a Deadpool movie, so it was just references on stuff. It was great. It was a lot of fun. I want, a I want Mary Puppins. Mm -hmm. And you loved the, it, I mean, we can't talk too much about spoilers yet, but you loved the thing that you loved. I did like the thing I loved. Mm -hmm. Many of the even, things even I liked. You don't want to admit it. Yes, I will not be admitting it. But you did love it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and the other one too. Mm -hmm. Piccolo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those two. There were three high points, basically, is what I'm hearing. Yes. But only one of them was flawless. Correct. No notes. Well, two of them. Two of them were flawless. Well, I mean, the flaw of the other one is it's not often enough. It was very short. Oh, sure. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, what's the plan? Uh, we're going to be lazy. I assume you're going to edit forever and yell at me. And every so often I'll hear you over editing and you'll just be like, oh, God damn it, Derek. And then and what are you doing? I will uh, flip through the player's handbook or play the video game or go to sleep or something. I don't know. So it's fun? Mm-hmm. We're going to lay in tomorrow? Yep. Cool. Isn't that nice? It sounds lovely. Mm-hmm. How feel? Tomorrow, Nellie. Hold my hand. We're getting a dog. We're getting our dog back. Yeah. Yeah, we're going home, and you get to see your puppy again. Yeah, and then we'll get another dog soon. No. we get two dogs. Oh, remember to like, subscribe, comment, share this video with other people, and hit the bedell, the, the dinghy bell that is under this video so that you are notified the moment her videos post because you can't trust the algorithm anymore. Welcome to Life in Capitalism. Goodbye. <music>